How's it going guys? This is Scott Takai and today I wanted to show you how to make a DIY diffusion frame for only $80. So a diffusion silk is a soft material that's used to soften harsh sunlight and it makes your lighting and exterior locations much more pleasing to the eye. The problem with buying a legitimate one though is that it's really expensive and it's going to cost you a few hundred dollars. And there are definitely much cheaper DIY alternatives than the one I'm showing you guys but the only drawback I noticed is that the frames are going to be much smaller than the one I'm going to be showing you today which measures to be around 10 feet by 6 feet. So there's a cheap projection screen for $19 on Amazon from a company called Akia Screens. Link in the description below to find it. And this screen is made with material that's perfect for diffusing light. I used it in my video's pool party and COVID standoff. All right, thank you very much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Constipated ass down. While filming in midday sun. You'll be perfectly fine to use this screen on its own and all you have to do is tape it or use string to hang it up wherever you need it. But on a windy day, it's not gonna stay very steady. So I would recommend going to Home Depot and buying some PVC pipes. All the materials I got to make the setup work came out to around $60. And I bought 16 pieces of one inch thick PVC pipe, a long piece of thin rope and connector pieces to fit them all together into a big rectangle. And I bought the one inch PVC pipe specifically because because I wanted to be sure that it would fit on a Cardellini clamp. So how you would put this together is you would have five PVC pipes connected together for the long sides of the screen and three pipes for the shorter sides. Then I cut up the rope into smaller pieces so that I could put them through the holes of the screen and tied it to the PVC pipe and pulled it as tight as I could. And it's important to do this so that when wind is hitting the screen, the movement of the screen doesn't come out in your shots. And once it's tied up, just attach it to two light stands and you're done. The lighting is gonna be a lot softer on your talent's face it's much more shapeable and it doesn't burn a hole in your pocket. Thanks for watching the video guys. It really does mean a lot to me because there's plenty of content here on YouTube. The fact that you chose to watch mine is something that I'm very grateful for. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe for more filmmaking content and I'll see you guys later. Peace.